The boxing world focused on Saudi Arabia last weekend as Oleksandr Usyk unified the heavyweight championship, moving up from cruiserweight to be the heavyweight king. But is he the pound for pound king? Um, it is now time to unveil the Couch Potato Diary men's boxing pound for pound rankings. Pound for pound rankings are always so much fun to put together and we have our top 10 here for the Couch Potato Diary boxing pound for pound rankings coming off of so much great fights and now leading into so many more. We'll start at 10, Teofimo Lopez. I, I feel like he's been left off of a few um, unnecessarily. I, I still think this is someone who has an incredible resume, is still incredibly talented and has really bounced back since a loss to Cambosis a, a few years ago. So I have him at 10. At nine, David Benavidez. This one is more on the talent than on the accomplishments. He, he doesn't have yet the pound for pound resume, but I do think that there has been some politics that have kind of kept him from that. I think he is a top 10 pound for pound talent guy. And if we're talking talent, he should be, I think, way higher on this list. So this one is a bit more of a projection, but I have him at nine. At eight, Errol Spence Jr., um, the biggest loss of his career against Terrence Crawford, but I don't think that should knock him off of this list, so I have him at eight. At seven, it is Tank Davis. I, I think the win over Ryan Garcia... Um, looks a little bit better now, considering what Garcia did to, to Haney, even though there's a lot going on around that fight afterward. I do think that Tank Davis is, I, I think, clearly one of the best fighters in the world and has the resume to back it up. Um, ditto for Dimitri Bivol. I, again, this one, he, I think the talent speaks a little bit more than the resume does, but the resume is certainly there to put him on this list as well. Um, Artur Betterbiev has just really controlled things around his weight class, and so um, putting him in the top five, I think, was pretty easy. But now it is where... Like, the, the top four, it's obvious who they are. It's the placement of where they should be that I think is really fascinating. At four, I have Canelo Alvarez. Um, he is the face of boxing. He has been a pound-for-pound -pound king for years and years and years. But um, moving up aggressively in weight and losing, um, while it, it does suck to penalize someone for, a, as Brian Campbell would say on Morning Combat, um, daring to be great... He also hasn't exactly faced the stiffest of competition, aside from Munguia, who um, doesn't deserve to be on this list, but is a very talented fighter. If Canelo does face Terrence Crawford, it will be for number one pound for pound. Um, if he faces Benavidez and wins, I think he moves up in that spot as well. But the competition just hasn't been there when we, we are splitting hairs. This one, it surprised me how many people are moving him up. At three, I, uh, I have Oleksandr Usyk. Um, I think that, like, obviously the move up from cruiserweight, unifying the belts there, unifying the belts at heavyweight, he has obviously done so much. Um, but I, I just don't think you can put his resume over the top two guys. At two, I have Terrence Crawford. The win over Errol Spence Jr. has locked him into a top three spot in the pound for pound for forever now. Um incredibly talented, and just how dominant that win was. You can make a very easy case to have Terrence Crawford at number one, but at one, I have Naoya in a way. What he has been able to do, moving up weight class after weight class after weight class, and showing that the power transfers as he moves up 5, 10, 15 pounds from where we originally saw him, and just how dominant he has been able to be against fighters along the way. The big names aren't there, but that does not limit the accomplishments of Naoya in a way. I, I just think he has been so dominant in moving up weight classes and taking on the best at every weight class. Even though they're not the biggest names, they are still the best, and he has dummied them. So I, I think he is locked in right now, pound for pound, number one. 